Hey, so what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in this video that I want to go over is a video going on to The Flash and going over a few things that could have been better for the 100th episode going on to Cicada and just going on to another 100th episode and just going down and breaking down really and just going on to like my thoughts and opinions of what could have been better, you know, just all of that. And before we get into it, if you want to and you're new around here, you can subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. I'll have more videos post within the next few days. A video will probably post before this going on to Elseworlds and just going over all of that. Or maybe it'll post later, I'm not too sure yet. But um, let's get into it. So if you've watched kind of like one of my most recent videos, you will see that I'm not a really big fan of the episode. I thought it was a good episode, great is debatable, you know, amazing is just not on the table at all. It just wasn't amazing at all, like there were so many things that could have been better about it. Number one, and the one I want to go over mostly, is just going on to the whole like, Cicada and why he was in the episode, what could have been better, how they could have defeated Cicada so easily, like it's just so easy to be able to defeat him. And then obviously, you know, the whole fact of it not being a great episode or not being an amazing episode, you have the whole zoom kind of thing going on, you have the whole plot hole there, you have Reverse Flash not being in it for a lot of it, but you know, he was there for pretty much a good bit of it really, and he was basically just kind of like at the end of the episode kind of going on to, well basically like a teaser for what's going to be happening with Noah and what's going to be happening with her and like the future and what exactly is going to be happening with him and how everything like that is going to be working out. Salvatar obviously was like a bit messed up as well, but like he wasn't terribly messed up like he wasn't underused as much as zoom was zoom had like two new scenes basically and zoom was pretty underused really but then going on to like the whole fact of how they could have defeated cicada how they could have stopped him number one you could have vibed the dagger to a different earth which he wouldn't have been able to get if it was on a different earth even in space it was not a great idea but you know the whole fact of it being a plot and how the whole plot had to play out it makes sense why it went to like outer space instead of going to a different earth which like if it went to a different earth he wouldn't have been able to get the dagger back and you know, you could have grabbed the dagger, you could have run back in time, run forward in time, could have done something like that considering they were going on and doing all of the fact of just, you know, time traveling and everything, it would make sense for them to go into either like the past or go into like the future, it would just make a lot of sense for them to do it if they were doing time traveling in the episode, like, why wouldn't they go and do it? You could have put Metacuffs on Cicada, which would have worked as well, you know, just in case there anything could have happened there. You know, run Cicada into, like, a cell at Star Labs, which could have worked out as well, which would have been probably not as good as, like, vibing the dagger to a different Earth, or even just, you know, running back in time or going forward in time. You know, you could have vibed Cicada himself to a different Earth, which would have been a bit more difficult than vibing the dagger, which obviously would have been a bit more difficult, as I just said, which I don't feel like vibing a person would be as easy as vibing the dagger. You know, obviously another one could be the fact that you obviously know who Cicada is going to be, you know his identity, so you could have went back in time and done time traveling and done something there. You could have done Flash Time, which would have been another, like, really big one, but honestly, they haven't used that since, like, midway through, like, Season 4, and obviously, Flash Time is way too overpowered. It's not going to be, like, more likely ever used again. It's just way too powerful. I've even said it before that we're probably never going to see it again by how powerful it is. You know, you could have vibed Cicada into outer space, which would have been technically killing him off, which wouldn't have been a great thing to do. You know, another one could have been offer Caitlyn to just basically take a look at Grace or something. That would have been another great one, you know. And obviously that's going to be like the whole fact of what I wanted to go over, the main kind of like things I wanted to go over. And obviously, and obviously a massive kind of like thank you to Eric's Reloaded on Twitter for basically tweeting all of these out and me going over them. So obviously you can get like a link to his channel in the description so I can go and follow him. You can go and basically just subscribe to him if you want to. He does a lot more like DC TV videos and everything. He's a, but yeah, basically he's a pretty big channel and you know, just... You know, just hope you went on to enjoy the video and everything at least somewhat, and obviously you can subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. I'll have more videos post within the next few days, so just look forward to that I guess, and an Aquaman review post probably soon enough as well, I'm not too sure when exactly, but it will post because I just watched it. But um, hope you have a great day and everything, and goodbye.